Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan Dang and I'm a type 1 diabetic and today I'm going to be showing you how to insert the Guardian sensor. So what you're going to need for this is the Guardian sensor. You're also going to need your transmitter and have it hooked up to the charger before you do it. You'll also need some kind of tape. What I'm going to be using is a Guardian oval tape which looks like this and the inserter which is just this thingy. So what you're first going to do is remove the Guardian from the case and you're going to insert it into this. So you should use a flat surface, I'm just going to use my hand, and you're going to push it down until you hear a click. Like that. Then what you'll do is get a flat surface and remove it like that and what you'll be ending up with is this. So what I'm going to be doing today is putting it onto my arm. My arm is my favorite place to put the sensor because it really just stays out of the way. Unlike your stomach or your back, I feel like the arm is most convenient. However, some people might not like it because when you take off your shirts and things, it does get in the way. If you guys have any suggestions on places to put this, please leave it down below. So all you're going to do is literally just get your arm and just put it on top and push down the two buttons. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna put it flat down and get the two buttons on the side and push down. So you'll hear a little click. So next what I do is I take down this first piece of tape. Then I'm going to remove the piece of needle. Ooh, so mine is actually bleeding right now, which is not good. All right, so my sensor actually started bleeding, but I guess this is a good lesson for this video. So if your thing starts bleeding, you can just like hold it. You're going to want to apply pressure, but it doesn't stop the sensor from working or anything like that um, in my experience. So it's still a good sensor. I just want it to stop bleeding before I proceed with the following steps. So just apply pressure for a couple minutes to make it stop bleeding. <laughs> All right, so my site stopped bleeding. So after, hopefully yours didn't do that when you put it on. I think I just pushed down too hard, but basically what you're going to do is get one of these oval pieces of tape and this is how I put my tape on. I remove the first piece and I'm going to lay it down like this. Then I'll remove the second Then I'll remove it on this side and put it down. So it'll end up looking like this. After you've put down your tape, you're going to want to go into your pump and start a new sensor. So you're going to want to go to utilities and then press on that and then go to sensor settings and then press sensor connections, start new sensor and press OK. So once that happens, you're going to want to go back to your transmitter and take that off. Then you're going to want to insert it into the sensor and here a little click. And you can remove this piece of tape and put it on. And you should see a little green flashing light. So your pump should connect to it soon and then you'll be able to start your sensor. After that, your pump should connect to it soon and you'll be able to start your sensor. So I hope this was an easy tutorial to follow. If you guys have any questions about the Guardian or the sensor or anything like that insertion process, please make sure to leave it down below and I'll be sure to give you a response. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!